Hello everyone, welcome here. In this lecture, you are going to learn a great functionality that is a VLOOKUP formula. How super easily we can apply, we can learn here. So this advanced Excel function is one of the most used formula in Excel. So it is a mainly due to the simplicity of the formula, it's application looking up certain values from other tables. So here in this example, I'm taking two tables of data. It's like a real world data. So table A and table B, two table of data. Like our first table is having employee ID and like a employee name. Maybe employee ID, maybe different, different IDs I have given. Yes, maybe, right? So four is repeated twice. We can change it. We'll test it, the data, real time data, how the employee ID is changed and how it is going to be mapping his salary. Okay. So here I want to, I want to prepare a table like a report. I want to prepare a great report from different sources of different tables. I want to get the data and fill a report of common table. Got it. So here like a VLOOKUP is in a great, like a vertically you can greatly collect the data. So here the side by side two tables are here and the first table is table A I have taken and table B from employee ID is representing based on the ID it is representing the salary values. Super easy two tables. So what is the common value when you are preparing like a something like you know like a we look up such type of a functionalities at least one column of data to be matched from the previous table or next table. So here the, from the two tables, this table data and this table, maybe the values are different. Whereas one is here, one is here, two is uh, here and two is here, three is here and three is here in this way. Got it? At least one column to be match. Now, for an example, we have taken like a dealing with the two, like a, any company or any students, uh, like a student, if you take in, student is having like admission number and uh, he may uh, like attachment with the like a uh, fee table like uh, is having fee like a particular fee tables we are collecting from the admission number along with the name and fee we collect it and uh, similarly where the admission number is having and uh, where he how he is going to be uh, like uh, attempting for an examination and uh, taking an uh, attendance so many things which is uh, related to unique identity will follow in our real time scenarios now, so applying of this VLOOKUP functionality to how we are like, we'll get Mary salary here from this table. Got it. Now, simply you can observe here, like um, I am going to applying here one by one. Uh, let me check it like uh, equal to VLOOKUP. So equal to VLOOKUP. Let's see. When I started initiated, some help is giving by uh, Excel automatically. So looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table. Leftmost column of a table, it is going to be looking. And the return of a value, same row from a column, you specified where I am writing a formula. There we will get the result. The function or formula result, we will get this formula where we are writing. By default, the table must be sorted in ascending order. By default, Excel is going to be uh, like uh, most of the sorting techniques are going to be like uh, apply for ascending order only. Got it? Now, we look up, press tab to complete up to that level. Okay, with the open parenthesis also automatically it will come. It's a super easy technique you should learn and write quickly your formulas. Got it? Now, here what I want to try to making first, let's see here it is given lookup value what is the value you are going to looking up so lookup value is going to be this one employee id so with the employee id which is a matching to the other table then we need to write what the areas what the ranges we need to uh, compare this lookup uh, values and we'll get the like a uh, result value what we require to store in this particular cell so first we have written lookup value. Now table array, table array. So this value where to be like uh, like matching or mapping or looking up. So now 
make a comma make a comma and see f column is having table array values so f 3 to f 8 f 3 to uh, yes you may put like a f 8 or complete g column also you can add to f 3 to complete whole table i am specifying here g uh, 8 complete from here to number 1 to 89000 complete two columns completely with the rows i am specifying the like uh, uh, table array got it now you just write it like uh, how we can uh, how we can write it this one c dollar f column and uh, dollar uh, number of from where we are going to seeing yes it's a three number three colon till end of uh, till end what the well like area of table we need to check so dollar g dollar g uh, dollar what is the g end value dollar uh, eight it's eight from there to dollar eight see it's a row is eight g eight yes so dollar eight wow see now the area is selected automatically it's a showing some preview where we are writing it's going to be like a covering or not so make a comma now column index number what the column index number we will prefer to take see this table column index number is two first column is employee id second column is employee salary so two we are going to preferring so we are giving column index position is two put a comma now it's a matter of understand it's a matter of understand so what you need to understand here so where you are going to if id is matching approximate match you read or exact match you need take a decision take a proper decision over here to complete this formula so we look up formula whenever you are writing you want to collect like uh, from other table to collecting the data so this data approximately if it is matched you need to collect it or exactly what you need to match the employee id uh, from the a table and employee id from the b table you want to get it in this scenario it's a salary matter it's a very very important so i am putting as a if you take in true it's an approximate match if you take in as a false it's an exact match so I'm taking false for exact match. I want to uh, deposit the salaries for the employee. F-A-L-S-E and close the parenthesis, hit enter. Wow. See, number one ID employee from here employee ID number one, it's a 65,000 rupees or dollars. It's a uh, automatically applying and reflecting the value so how we are fulfilled using vlookup formula to our report set so i think you know how to fill these guys it's a very super easy to like a select the cell and click like a, when you see the plus more plus option from your mouse and drag till the area you want to cover and leave it quickly it is coming for a fart so super so now see Prathyumna is having employee id 4 and paul mozo is also having employee id 4 so what we need to do let's check to change paul mozo to 5 let's see the um, screen if i enter 5 like uh, if i enter 5 automatically excel understanding and formula is applied now so automation what the 5 value it is here it came to update it to the cell and its result all the excel formulas whenever you are written very keenly you will be enjoy a lot truly so understand this we look up you can collect the multiple tables of the data you just try to practice more and more with the real world examples only by writing the formulas got it now you cannot like uh, see there are three major uh, delimitations so you need to uh, like apply and uh, concentrate on while writing the vlookup formulas so you cannot have a primary column at the right 
this table whenever you are writing it should be like um, primary column it shouldn't be on the right side in this area okay always this table is left formula you need to write and it should be in the right side which you want to populate the value to, from the another table got it and the duplicate values of the primary column table b the first value will be get populated in the cell whenever the duplicate values are available in this area you just concentrate on here or if it is the duplicate values here you as you seen that same value is going to be reflecting here so whenever we are treating as a master table such table and the master data also call it as unique data master data when we are, we are using as a source of data there should be like a, there shouldn't be have a duplicate values if you insert a new column of the database like example in a new row maybe and uh, maybe it's a employee salary or employee table a the output formula could be different based on the positions that you have mentioned in the formula so if i am changing if i am inserting in between this or in, if i am inserting in between this yes you need to check it the positions of the formula is uh, going to be applying properly or not Wherever, whenever you are dragging something and you are applying, maybe these values or maybe positions are changing or columns are changing. All you have to check it may be where in the proper position or not. If not, you can check the pro like a formula of uh, like a which area you want to cover and all this formula is a simply apply. Where false is required, true is required. It's up to your wish. I hope it's a VLOOKUP is a super easy formula applying. I think so. We'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.